Tagazani, good day everyone, please welcome back. This is Gogo Mahava again. Today I want us to talk about 12 things which will show you that you are spiritually on the right track. Okay, but before we start, please let's welcome those who are new. You are very much welcomed and please remember to subscribe and like our page. Hit the notification bell as well. Thank you so much. Okay guys, uh, 12 things which will show you that you are spiritually on the right track. Okay, so the first one, the first one, you dream a lot. You dream a lot. If you are spiritually gifted and you don't dream at all, or you dream, whenever you dream, you always forget your dreams, then you need to know that something is not right. Something is not right. Please, you need to go consult, or even if you don't, don't you don't consult, okay, the reason why I'm saying go and consult is because uh, you need to know what is blocking those dreams. Or before you decide to go and consult, I want you to check on your site what is blocking your dreams. You're going to check on things like food. You're going to check on um, maybe how you communicate with your spiritual guides, your ancestors. Do you, do you communicate with them? Do you pray? You know, those kind of things. These are the things that you're going to check. But if you find that, no, I pray every day, I partner every day, but still, still I can't remember my dream or I can't um, dream at all, then you need to know that something is not right either with you or with your space, the place where you're staying, where you are sleeping. Okay. Number two, remember when you're going to consult, because before I go to number two, it's just coming to me. Remember when you're going to consult, they will also pick up on those things and they will tell you the reasons why. Or even if they don't pick up on the dream, but they will tell you what is currently happening in your life. And then, yes, this is how you'll know that, okay, because of one, two, three, these are the things which are blocking my dreams. Okay, guys. Number two. You dream of things before they happen. If you are on the right track, if you are on the right track spiritually, you will dream. And your dream will become a reality. You dream of something today, tomorrow it happens. You dream of something today, maybe after some few months it happens. That's why it's very much important that whenever you dream, make sure that those important dreams, write them down. So that when it happens, you'll go back to check on what was in the dream, what other things were there in the dream, what was happening in the dream, so that you'll be able to know that, okay, with this thing happening now, I need to make sure that I protect myself, or with this happening, with this thing happening now, I need to do this and that, according to the way your ancestors have shown me in, in the dream. This is another way, uh, the important way of, or uh, the important uh, thing of, of us writing down our dreams, so that you'll be able to, to track back on that dream what was made, made what was the message behind that dream okay because sometimes yes we dream and then we forget and writing them down yes you find that let, let's say you dream today and that thing it happens after three months obviously after three months you forgot about that thing you forgot that you've been shown that thing but if you're writing it down and then remember that oh but i remember i had a dream about this let me go and check on that dream what was actually happening and then you're going to get more information because you're going to be guided on what on what you need to do because now this thing is happening now they told you about this thing that is going to happen it's now happening so you need to go back you know and just to you know um remind yourself about other things which you need to do in order to correct things number three you start having visions either when you're sleeping when you're just laying down on bed with your eyes closed or when you're anywhere and where you might be sleeping or you might be sitting down or you might be doing some other things but automatically whether your eyes are closed or open but automatically your third eye is that it automatically just open and then you see something you see something something which is only shown to you you are with other people but they can't see that thing it's only you who can see that thing okay number four you hear a buzz or a whistle in your ear so once you start hearing those buzzes or those whistles or sometimes your ears block you don't have to you know to be worried about that okay guys i'm thinking about something else i don't have a pen right in front of me i was gonna write it down so that i don't forget i hope i don't forget so if i remember then that will be item number 13 okay it just came to me right now so once you start hearing those buzzes, those whistles, uh, you know, with your or, or your, your ear blocking, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. This is another gift which is opening. 
And once this gift is opened, you'll start hearing some voices. These are the voices of your ancestors, your spiritual guides when they come and talk to you. So don't be scared when they come and talk to you. They won't scare you. They'll just come and tell you what you need to do. This is how they will talk to you. Sometimes yes, they, can, they can come to you even when you are, you know, in front of other people. But I wanted to know that it's only you who will hear them. It's only you who will hear the messages. The other people that you're with, they won't hear anything. Okay, number five, you feel vibration sensations on your body. This one's I've said it so many times. Yes, but they're still, I guess sometimes you find that, okay, uh, you know, a new subscriber just comes and this person hasn't seen the previous videos, then she sees this one. So sometimes you find that people don't understand. Yes, I'm going to advise you to also, please from time to time, check on my previous videos as well, because most of the questions that you're asking uh, on the comment section, there are the things that I've spoken to I mean about already so if you can go back to those videos from time to time so that you you remind yourself okay i'll have a video soon about um what you need to do when like you're watching you know this type of videos it can be my videos it can be other people's videos as long as they are educational videos i'll just advise you on what you need to do so that at least you don't forget okay um yes you're gonna feel these vibrations on your body i remember some years back i did a cleansing on someone she came over and then i did a cleansing after the cleansing then she started feeling these vibrations on her body and she was very very scared when she called me she was very scared she was like you know go go you did just did the cleansing so what's happening with me i feel like i still have this little then when i checked i found that no it's not this little it's not. It was the vibrations because now she has she has removed all the to all, all the the bad luck which is caused by witchcraft. She has removed everything, and now the ancestors the ancestors are now able they are able you know to come to her. So as long as your ancestors are close to you, you're going to feel something. You're gonna feel their presence. You'll feel that oh they're right here, and if like they're touching your head, you'll feel that oh they're now touching my head. If they're touching a shoulder, they're tapping a shoulder or something, you'll you'll, you'll still feel that. If you're just, they're just moving along your chakras, you'll still feel that. This is how the vibrations will always come. Okay. So once you start having these vibrations, don't be scared. You need to know that ah, I'm on the right level. I'm spiritually cleansed. I'm protected. And yes, my ancestors, when I talk to them, they can hear me because I can feel them right next to me right now. Okay. And this type of vibrations, guys, sometimes it, it happens even during consultation. Whether you are, you know, doing a face-to-face -face consultation or it's a, it's a video consultation or just a WhatsApp or a phone call consultation. If you are spiritually cleansed, if your chakras are opened, I want you to know that when you are, you know, this person is consulting you over the phone, you'll start either things like bumping, they will come. And then you'll feel these vibrations. It, it shows that you are connecting. You are connecting with the person who's consulting you. So that one is normal. Sometimes you're just walking in town or you're at work or you're somewhere. And then you just come across someone or maybe someone comes and sit next to you or stand next to you. You start feeling these vibrations. Don't be scared. It shows that that person, she also has spiritual gift or something. Or, her, or, or the, this person's ancestors are talking to her. So they're doing it through you. So what you're going to do, you need to listen. Listen to that intuition. Listen to those thoughts. Because this is how they're going to talk to you about this person. Or listen to your senses or your emotions as well. Then you'll, or you'll, you'll, you'll immediately pick up what the ancestors are saying about this person. Okay. So that you'll be able to deliver the message, of course. Okay, number six, you think of someone and then they call you or they come to visit. Yeah, this one, this one is always, always happening. Just, you just think of someone and immediately the person calls or the person sends you a message or the person visits. So if this one is happening to you, you need to know that, yeah, you are spiritually strong. You are spiritually strong. Okay, number seven. You feel it or you have signs whenever your ancestors are not happy about something. When they are not happy, you, you will immediately know that they are not happy or you will sense that my ancestors are not happy. Sometimes you can have some signs. Then when you have this sign, you know that, oh, they're, 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 they're not happy. And immediately you need to listen to the intuition. 
and the and the and, and the emotions and the and the thoughts as well because this is how they're going to communicate with you immediately then you will know that oh they're not happy about one two three you will know whatever comes first even if some other messages comes after that then you you write them down you know that okay they're not happy because um like when i was uh appeasing them i didn't let them paper or i didn't do this or i didn't do that okay they're not happy because i didn't talk to them today or they're not happy because i've done one two three four five or maybe you were supposed to pray with a with a glass of water then immediately when you pray you start feeling those uh you know as if someone is pinching you with a, a needle or something you start feeling those things then immediately you know that they're not happy as long as you have that feeling you know that they are not happy they're complaining about something then immediately listen to that intuition what is it saying or the thoughts or the emotions as well then let's say immediately your thoughts or your or or, or, or your your emo, i mean your thoughts or your, your your intuition they immediately tell you that a glass of water glass of water or sometimes you even see it remember you're, you've closed your eyes you're praying you immediately you see a glass of water through the third eye then it means that you need to stop right now go and fetch that glass of water put it next to you next to your candles and start praying all over again they want a glass of water so this is how you need to listen to them okay and if you're experiencing these things you need to know that oh I'm on the right track. Everything is okay. But once you stop, let's say you start uh, having these things that uh, I'm telling you about. You you start having these experiences. But out of the, the blue, they all stop. You need to be worried. Check what is what is happening in your life. Check what is it that you did. Check who are the people whom you've been with recently. You need to check those things. and need, You need to make sure that you fix things as soon as possible before everything is blocked for good or automatically start to open whatever has been blocked okay number eight you become sick every time you eat things which are blocking your ancestors whenever you, th you, you eat things which are blocking your chakras whenever you eat things which are blocking your, your your ancestors or things which your ancestors they don't want or things which make your your ancestors sick you will also get sick Let's say, for instance, uh, you eat that cheese. Immediately, you start having cramps, cramps, stomach cramps. The stomach cramps, you know, they're too painful. You're trying to drink this. They are more painful. You're trying to sleep. You can't even sleep. You need to know that this is not right. And once you start feeling these things, you need to know that, oh, it means that my ancestors are just next to me. They're right by my side. And it means that when I do this or when I eat this, I'm hating them. So I must stop eating this. But if you find that you are eating all those food which are not needed for spiritual gifted people. Remember I told you when I was doing those videos, I said to you guys, I don't, I don't say that don't eat them. You can eat them, but not too much. Eat them just from time to time, not too much. Not every day. Let's say for that, for that cheese, if you like it, maybe eat it once a month or twice a month. Or sometimes you just leave it at all. But if you find that, yes, all along you were not eating these things, whenever you were eating them, they were making you sick. But out of the blue, you start, you know, craving for them. You start eating them, and then you don't get sick anymore. Something is not right. Something is wrong, spiritually. Something is wrong. Because if you are blocked, you'll start eating all those food which are not needed. You'll start eating them because already you are blocked. That's why now when you eat those food, you don't get sick at all so it means that something is not right don't be happy and be like oh it means that now i'm fine no don't something is not right their ancestors are not happy okay number nine you immediately know if someone in your life is bad or not if this person is a bad person this person in your life maybe this is a person that you have a relationship with maybe this is a a, a friend maybe this is a colleague maybe this is a neighbor but this person is someone who, who comes to you, you know, or, or even a family member who is always coming to you. But this person is planning something, something very bad to do to you or is plotting against you. Or this person is gaining with your enemies. Maybe all, all along this person was a very good person. But recently she joined something and now she's doing something and she joined this thing because of jealousy. Immediately, 
once this person started doing all those things it will tell you they will tell you your ancestors you'll have a feeling that uh, something is not right with this person something is very very off you'll just see yourself not wanting to be with him anymore you see yourself not wanting to answer your calls anymore you see yourself you know you have this thing of you know what block this number block this number it shows that this person has joined something has joined the cult this person bought uh, witchcraft yes they can buy it some are not born from family which practice witchcraft but out of i don't know maybe jealousy or what is driving them to do these things or maybe because they want money they want they don't want to work for their money they want things which will just come just come like that so that's where they go join the cult or buy whatever they buy so that they will be able to get you know your blessings they know that they can twirl with you they can steal your luck by doing that so immediately once you start having doubts about this person or your intuition started telling you something about this person please do not doubt your intuition your ancestors will never tell you lies they will never tell you lies immediately stay away from this person they are trying to protect you okay number 10 you immediately know if something bad is going to happen these are spiritually gifted people when something very bad is going to happen you feel it you feel it already you sense it already before even your intuition can tell you that something very bad is going to happen or before they can tell you that this and this and that is going to happen already you can feel it so immediately please just stay away from anything which you know you you, you see that something might happen very bad I, I i'm gonna tell you that whenever you have this feeling if wherever you are you are able to say your prayers you're able to you know connect with your ancestors or if you can just stay away from other people try to be alone for a while then i think you'll be protecting yourself and other people as well yes maybe that bad thing is going is going is going to happen to you maybe that bad thing is not going to happen to you it's going to happen to someone else but immediately as soon as you start praying for it so that it stops then that thing is not going to happen you are saving someone's life okay number 11 you immediately know if someone who owes you is not going to pay you this you'll also know yes we do many types of businesses some are selling some things we exchange money every day some will come and borrow money from you you know some they they, they come and lend money from us you know things like that or some they'll want to you know they, they, they'll come to us you know wanting us to, to to help them with something and this person will be like you know what help me please help me i will pay you i promise you that i will pay you they even give you the dates on which they were gonna pay you help this person after some few days it start coming to you that you know this person is not going to pay you they will tell you through the intuition through thoughts or you just have this feeling this feeling that this person is not going to pay you or even if this person is going to pay you but you're going to you're going to fight for this money you're going to fight for it she won't just come and pay you no it's going to be a, a you know big story arguments lots of things before you can get your money back so immediately as they're, they're, they're clicking to you that this person is not going to pay you please know that it's going to happen like that expect it and when it happens, don't be surprised, don't be angry, because already you've been shown. When they show you, they want you to, you know, um, to act mature and not to be angry, not to make arguments. Just try to calm down. And even when you confront this person or when you go to this person to demand your money, you know, don't be mad when you go there. Don't be angry. Don't make, you know, don't start argument, fights or anything. No, just be calm. Just be yourself. Try to talk to this person. You know, make arrangement with this person on how they can pay you back. Even if it's little by little, as long as they can pay you back. And if the message was like, this person, no matter what, she won't pay you. Okay, you'll start with those small things, you know, by just making arrangement with this person. Do it in a nice way. No fights, no arguments, not being angry. And if you can see that, oh, this person, she's not going to pay. Remember, they've told you already. Don't worry. Leave this person alone. Don't call this person anymore. Don't go to this person anymore. What are you going to do? You're going to pray about it. You're going to announce it to your ancestors. They've told you already. They've shown you already. So you just go there and then you explain that this person, yes, she did took money or she, I've helped her with this and this and that. 
She promised to pay, but I can see that she doesn't want to. Already you've shown me that she's not going to pay. Please, I'm taking this matter. I'm giving it to you. Help me with this one. You will see. You will see. This person will never find peace. Will never find peace. Until the day she comes and pay. Even if this person, once she starts having problems, when she go and consult with other people, that man will come through. That man will show the, the, the divine bones or, or, or whatever. Or maybe it's a prophet, the person who's, who will be helping this person. They will tell her that, you know what? You owe someone, someone money. Go and pay this money. Otherwise, your things is not going to be right. Go and pay. Because sometimes it, it won't be me who will punish you because of the money that you owe me. In most cases, it will be my ancestors, whether a person has a spiritual gift or not. Do not even go to people who are not spiritual gifted. Go and borrow money or loan money or ask for help, things like that, if you know that you don't intend on paying them. Because, yes, they're not spiritual gifted, but remember, they still have spiritual guides. They still have guardian angels. And, they, and the universe is watching over them. The money that they give to you, this is some of the blessings that they got from the universe or from their spiritual guides and, and, and ancestors. So what do you think when you go and borrow money from this person, but at the end you don't pay it? Remember, this is the gift that this person got from her spiritual guides. Do you think that this person's spiritual guides, they will be happy about the money that you took, but now you don't want to pay it? So this is how some of us were bringing bad luck into our life. At the end, we'll think that people are, are bewitching us. Only to find out, no, there's no witchcraft there. It's my actions. It's my actions. If I don't have enough to pay this person, why don't I just do it bit by bit? If that person is keeping quiet, she doesn't come and, uh, you know, uh, come and scream at you anymore. To, she, she doesn't demand her money back. Does not mean that she's a fool or she forgot or something. No. She knows that someone is fighting her battles. And that person is a spiritual person. Obviously, that person is going to win. Or that person is not a spiritual. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. And remember, it's you who started all these things. You will be punished. So this is how sometimes we bring bad luck into our lives. Let's not do this, guys. Let's not do this. Okay? And I want to tell you something. You know, I, I used to have this thing. Okay, I'll go into, like, let's say maybe find that maybe I'm, I'm in town or, yeah, let's say in town or at the mall. Maybe I'll go to these shops to find that maybe, the, um, you know, uh, this, it's this person, you know, uh, it's running a business. Maybe it's, it's uh, they're selling uh, clothes or, you know, something to decorate in house, something like that. I used to have this thing of, of going there, even if I have money. I will go there and then ask how much is this and then they'll give me the price, even if I have that amount in my bag. But I used to have this thing of like, ah, you know what, I don't have enough. I know that once I said I don't have enough, they'll be like, how much do you have? Remember, this person thinks that I need this thing. And this person wants to help me. So that's why they're saying, how much do you have? Then I tell this person a small onion amount. And then they're like, okay, it's fine. I'll give it to you with that price. So sometimes we do these things thinking that we are too clever. We are not. We are bringing bad luck into our lives. That person, we don't know where these people come from. We don't know how, how these people suffered back home. So they came here and then they're, that is, they're trying to make a living. You might find that this person is supporting 20 people or even 20 plus. All these people, they depend on, the, on, on this person. And this person is paying rent for the, for the, for the shop. This person, where they buy, you know, the, the, the goods, the, whatever they're selling, they, 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 they bought them very far. They're still going to pay Korea. That's still going to pay everything. They still pay water. They still pay electricity. But me, instead of paying that extra 50000 so because I think I'm clever, I demand a discount or I expect a discount. Yes, sometimes it's, in, it's, it's, it's okay to ask for a discount in a nice way. You're asking for it. They will give it to you if they want to give it to you. If they can't, they will tell you that, no, my friend, I won't be able to give you a discount because already this thing has been discounted. If I, if, if I give you a discount, I, I'm not going to, to, to gain anything. I'm losing. It's like I'm giving it for free. So you see? So, but then as, as time goes on, one day it, it rang into me. It, you know, my intuition told me that I must stop doing that. That's when all those things came flooding into my mind. And I saw that, yeah, what I did was not right. Because I had money by then. But then if, yes, I go to this job and I really want this thing and I don't have enough money, 
yes it's okay because I, i'm telling the truth i don't have enough money then it's okay it's okay this person felt sorry for me this person felt like no let me just give it give it to her even if i'm going to get to gain 10 rent not the the the, the 40 rent i was expected i was i was expecting you see so there are these small small things which we do but we don't see that we are you know causing something in our lives and then at the end what happens to me bad luck start coming bad things start happening only because of that person's ancestors that person didn't know didn't do anything to me that person didn't know that i was lying when i said i don't have enough money he didn't know about this he doesn't know me but his ancestors the universe they knew that i was lying and they were like okay let's punish her let's punish her okay number number 12 you immediately know if your partner is cheating as long as you are a spiritually gifted person this one will always click it will click yes it might happen it come it might come to you intuitionally it come it might come through thoughts or you must you might have this senses or this feeling that i that that person is doing something wrong you see it's coming you know in a way that you can't even suspect but you keep on pushing it you're like i i don't think so maybe it's just my thoughts maybe ing, 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 ing. no it's the truth your ancestors are trying to save um your relationship or your marriage they're trying to save it that's why they're telling you hey be careful watch out that person is doing one two three you need to fix your relationship maybe you are fighting a lot in the relationship you're making too many arguments things like that like that or that person you know your partner is like this time or this days has just changed he has new friends or he's doing some things but then they're making you aware that hey fix one two three before things gets out of the way yes yeah, sometimes they can show you this in the dreams so once they show you in the dreams you need to know that ah it's sealed it's happening for real and this time it means that things are you know are, are, are going too far now Yes, maybe it might be easy to, 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 to fix it, or maybe it might not be easy this time. This time, someone is going to be hurt. But when they were telling you through intuition or through senses or just thoughts, that was the beginning of things, or things were about to start happening. And then they were like, hey, be careful. Check, something's going to happen there. Water is getting inside the house. Check. Check your roofing check <laughs> check your house <laughs> so you see they always protect us in so many ways okay number 13 the extra one okay the one that i i, I thought about I, I made sure that you know i just sing it in my mind when i was like talking to you so that i don't forget it's a simple one you start having these headaches this headaches like my crane when it happens yeah it's too painful very very painful when you're going to 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 take your pills it means that one pill will not work sometimes you have to take two after an hour take another two you see so sometimes those headaches headaches will come in different ways i'll have a, a video about headaches soon sometimes you find that if this is about your your spiritual gift you find that okay maybe your ancestors are happy so i get it when when the third eye starts to open you'll start having this migraines this is a way to show you that your spiritual guide i mean your spiritual gift the third eye is about to open so it will always do this um you know headaches headaches or this migraines you don't have to take pills for that one you don't have to take pills with this one because this is part of the spiritual journey the, once you start taking pills for this one then you see you are blocking it now you're blocking it We'll have a video soon about headaches sometimes you find that um yes um this is uh, something to do with your spiritual gifts but your ancestors are not happy they're not happy about something that's why they're you know bringing this headache from time to time check check what is happening in your life check what you're eating check what is it which you are doing okay i remember last night okay this the, not last night today very early in the in hours when i was like appeasing my ancestors okay i made some changes you know in my bedroom and then okay i have this um it's like 
maybe a mobile wardrobe something like that but it's not made up of it's just made up of um some steel you know i bought it at, at in one of the shop in town yeah but because i'm i'm saying good things about this shop yes i can mention the shop i bought it at game some years back so like um normally i'll just put uh you know dp gajaga and some other things um this bed that you see that i'm wearing here i was like hanging it there my ancestor things some of the things i just you know put them there okay so i changed it as well i, I moved it to another corner so while i was appeasing very very early in the morning because that time i couldn't go out you know it was the time to do it inside then i was like i knelt down so i knelt down um in front not in front yeah let's say uh my back was facing this um mobile wardrobe it was facing it or a mobile hang or whatever you can call it so my back was like facing it it means that okay um uh, you know my ancestor cloth and some of the beads and things were behind me were behind me and as i started calling upon my ancestors immediately i had a terrible headache or the way it happened th that this was the first time i felt this the way it happened it was like you know uh maybe uh, someone is choking me or something or something was not right yeah it just hit me right right here right here at the back and i think it lasted for maybe 10 to 15 minutes it lasted for long but okay immediately as it happened the intuition said to me you've um you know you've turned your back on the ancestor cloth you need to move around you need to face the other direction just move a little bit or either move this uh, mobile hanger so i immediately stood up and then i changed something so that i'll be able to face the direction which i want to face when i talk to my ancestors then as soon as i i, I did that then at least that pain it was now getting better because i'm like you know doing something about it and then i spoke to them and then i was done and then i said my prayers and then after a while then the pain went away so these are the, this is some of the things which will show you that you are spiritual on the right track because if i was not like spiritually strong it means that i was gonna do that and nothing was gonna happen to me i was not gonna feel anything even if my ancestors don't want that but i was not gonna feel anything but because i'm okay on my body i've done my cleansing and everything i'm protecting myself so whenever they want to talk to me about something whether they're happy or not i will immediately feel it then I know that everything is good. Me and my ancestors, we are on, we are you know on good terms. When they're angry, I will know. When they're happy, I will know. Just like when you know, we, we, you know, in your relationship with your partner, that oh today he's not. You know that when I look at him, when I see him like this, I know that ah he's not happy. And it means that ah, something is not right. All right, today is so happy. Ah, things are going up. Things are looking up. Things like that. So with the ancestor, same thing. Remember, you have a relationship with them. You are staying with them. They're always by your side. They're always there to protect you, to guide you as well. So for them to be able to guide you, make sure that you are okay on your body. Cleansing. That's the only thing, guys. Cleansing. Okay. The last. Oh, that, <laughs> that was the last one. That was the headache. That was the headache. Yes. And then there are those headaches which are like caused by witches. Yes, which is something to do with witchcraft. Uh, yes, obviously for that one, you need to get help from a spiritual person. And then there are some headaches which are caused by the food that we eat immediately. Maybe allergy. you as soon as you eat this and then you start getting that headache. Then you need, you need, you know, you need to know that you, you need to stop. Or maybe if for those guys who are like studying, you know, maybe you find that you, you, you spend maybe most of your time reading, you read too much at the end, then you start having this headache. It's like, you know, attacking the nerves or something. Yeah, that one is a normal one. That one you can just take pills for it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much.